since ev the majority is here, we can just start. I'm gonna get myself ice cream though, so I'll be right back. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey! I saw I saw you I saw you moving the thing and I I, I, I tried to beat you to the, 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 the. <laughs> I got you. Well, I missed it. We uh we're, we're do, we were doing Delta Room AI. <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching anything Delta Room because I still haven't played it. Mm. Yeah, well then you probably don't want to experience it in the way in which we are. Yeah, because <laughs> it's. I... Yes, the best way. <laughs> These from Bully Chips are not very good. Okay, I need to go and get ice cream. God damn now it, I'm going, to sit, now I'm going to sit here and lazily edit a video. I'm doing Blender things. The Blender struggle as I as I've heard from you. What? Okay. Nothing. Where are they? Hot! Hot! So cold! You're just insane, man. Shut up, old man. Go, go to sleep, you 33-year-old. I mean, 32-year-old. Fuck. I'm 31! You uh, reprobate! Still old. Nick? Yeah? I'm approaching rapidly. You do not have time to run. Mass and Fitz weren't here to hear this when I was talking about it, but there was the alternate universe where we, where we did uh, Into the Pit instead of AI Rune. I still want to do Into the Pit. If not, well, if not with you guys, then by myself, because I genuinely want to try that. Well, I plan to do it at some point. It I'm sounds kind of dog shit in a funny way. Well, I mean, it's based off of a funny, silly book. The fun, one book. of the many funny silly books. Dog shit book. Hey, but the game makes it work. Well, yeah, it's in game format. <laughs> it's in game format, and it's and its gameplay loop is directly based off of Clock Tower. So, of course, it's going to be good. Speaking of Clock Tower, I also need to get the remake for that. Because that also looks really good. All things, no, 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 that does not need to come out. What needs to come out is the Gex re-release. All ten Gex fans. Hey, he's one of them. Mass is at least four of them. I'm at least 20 of them. <laughs> Insert Le Le hilarious uh, one, I grew uh, up 100 on that Gex shit, joke here. I owned that shit for the N64. So did you just eat the other 19 X fan? <laughs> See, I bought a couple of boosters of the furry bait Magic the Gathering set. I did not get the the biggest call out post I've ever seen in the terms of cardboard, but. <laughs> Like, leg is the cheat code for this challenge, I see. It's like, what's the biggest goddamn call out I've ever seen? <laughs> this, this, this shit is unfair. This is bullshit. What? I'm gonna post this in muted. <clears throat> Wizards of the Coast knows what you are. Look at this shit. This is this is a fucking call out post. <laughs> they made the big strong rabbit with an eggplant club. <laughs> this is targeted harassment. <laughs> I do not have to stand for this. <laughs> What the fuck do you mean Armor War's been cancelled? What the fuck? What? Armor War's been quietly cancelled. What's Armor War? The War Machine solo spin-off TV show. Hey. To be completely honest, I was kind of expecting that. Because Marvel has had no clear direction of what they're going to do that for a while. 
I always... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if War Machine solo show is a good idea. Movie, maybe, but... Show? Not... Not feeling that. I think it could work if they introduced Crimson Dynamo. Which we still haven't seen in this universe for some reason. Dog, I need Crimson Dynamo in one of these things like yesterday. Wasn't Crimson Dynamo in the Black Widow movie? No, he wasn't. Well, I, oh, I know that's no, Red Guardian. Red Guardian. We're kind of semester, you're thinking of. Similar characters. Crimson Dynamo or Titanium, man. Either Russians would work. Nah. Give me Living Laser. They are never gonna do Living Laser right, man. Don't know that. <laughs> Who are you? I'm the son of Obadiah Stane. When did you show up? Well, you know, conveniently, for this movie purpose. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, Living Laser sure took his sweet fucking time. It's been ten years yeah, since what happened. The your the man who should have been your arch nemesis is a uh, kind of dead. Settles for the He'll next be best back thing. soon. You'll see. He'll be coming back and wearing green. And when push comes to shove you start the doomsday protocol to remind you of his love fuck you reed richards you're <laughs> such an ass i need that robert downey jr dr doom to die sooner rather than later so six movie deal got it honestly the way they're paying him is probably two movie deal. Also, I really want a Romanian actor to be Doom. Jesus Christ. Oh no, what was that? That was the lid. Where'd it go? Oh jeez. Uh -oh, it went all the way down, I heard it. Yeah. Whoops. Ram. Why'd you bring the lid in here? Well, I didn't know I needed it. Well, anyway, uh, since, since they're doing that, uh, I'm going. We should probably get going. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Mouth, it's your alarm. Oh, uh, give me a minute. I, I, I'm trying to get to the. the, 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 the what, what? I mean, some Altamarian fell off of the Far East and have failed out their trap of questionable character, eh? Normal day in solitude. Yes, the house does seem a magnet of, to, Yeah. The house does seem to have become something of a magnet for rum fellows of late. The house always wins. Wrong series. Thanks to that body curse. The convict's curse, you mean? Who the fuck told you about that? The champs I like how I said I was going to play Fall New Vegas sometime this year, but like... It's probably going to be like the end of the year at, at most. But I'm going to start that. I'm back, sorry. <laughs> I don't think I can do that tutorial with this model. Ah, shit. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Just accidentally spilled. Heard the stories, have you? Oh, I'm a mess tonight. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Also, I got. Make, chat. Also, one of the cards I got in here is a rat warlock whose gimmick revolves around slugs. That's unironically really cool. Or not, not slugs, snails. What's this dude's name? 
Lick the world mind. A rat warlock. Well, That's actually really cool. Was arrested here. Then the next chap in the room goes and, ne and keels over. Also got another showcase card. I love these showcase cards so much. This art is so beautiful. I'm not just saying that because I'm, I'm a shameless furry. Then there was that woman who dropped the dead just outside the on the street, not to mention the actor yesterday. That sounds like the intro to Auntie Ab. I posted it muted, by the way. Am I next, eh? Uh? Well, got to open the Get the collie wobbles, can ya? When you say the woman who dropped dead outside the street, do you mean Miss Green? Because Miss Green, who was stabbed by the knife, and Mrs. Shamspear, who was poisoned last night, are both very much alive still. Alright, now I'm back. Hopefully. Oh, yes, time. well, saw that blasted convict's curse, it seems. Hey, Shams. <clears throat> Personally, blood, I should be hell. quite not content with such lodging. <laughs> a bar, a toilet, a fireplace, a fascinating history. Why, it sounds like a lap of luxury. You can sell it as a haunted tour attraction. Hmm, <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Like the assassination mansion place thing. I forgot what that place was called. Murder, m murder, murder mansion, I think. What the bloody murder hell are you talking about? <laughs> murder mill. That's what he's talking about. There's this no bathroom or toilet included. No fireplace either. But you do look out for your tenants, don't you? By watching the rise and fall of the flames in your gas lamps up here. Yes, never. Let's keep an eye on things in case there are any mishaps or such like. Yeah, then hell hasn't he noticed Shamspear overusing gas? He must do it in a specific manner, so you Gary Dev doesn't know this. Maybe. They care that he's alive! <laughs> and pay my goddamn rent. <laughs> and bitch died. Did you not hear me? He has no fucking toilet. <laughs> Think you had your miss up already, sir? <laughs> That's not helpful, Mrs. Sholmes. Heaven forgive me, the words just came to my lips. What is that sound? It's coming from your night mic, Nico. Oh, that's probably my bathroom. Like an air conditioner? No, that's probably my bathroom. Some fishy fellow from the far east to the failed actor of questionable character, eh? There's no need for that, Mr. Garadev. I think my bathroom's reloading, as I call it. That's right! Mr. Nathan is no way fishy! He is undeniably peculiar, however. 
Is it right that you took the vacancy immediately after the previous tenant passed away? <clears throat> That's strange. Hmm. Yes, that's right. I asked the real estate agent to find someone and he popped up the very same day. Never came across a chap so eager for a place with the background, as it were. I don't think it was the room's background he was keen on, so much as the cheap rent, actually. So, how long has Mr. Shamspear been lodging under your roof? It failed actor chap? Hmm. Let me see. Oh, of course. months now quite sure of it only three months he's quite new here too then and to what do you owe your certainty in that regard mr garadev if i may ask hmm Well, it was that Selden scoundrel, that, as it happens. Selden? The convict, you mean? Do Selden and Shamsphere have some kind of connection, then? Shamsphere killed Selden. Oh boy. I'm telling you, we're dealing with a serial killer here. Oh my god, Frickster! Well, like Trickster feels like such bullshit a lot of the time, and I fucking love it. <laughs> that convict chap Selden passed away in the clink three months ago. Now, you see, some malady or other. <laughs> Yes, we've seen the report from the newspaper at the time. Well, it was only three days later that the tragedian showed his face, the actor fellow. Really? Why am I mic so far away? Yes, I remember it quite distinctly. <laughs> it's more of the world we inhabit. Creepy landlord, hear my request. This is what failing upwards looks like. <laughs> I, the humble Shabspear, do desire to take thy room on the middle floor offered everywhere for rent. I feel like I can rip his arm off. Family, sorry and whatnot, but that won't be possible. Only have a lodger on the middle floor. Ground floor is vacant though. Bro, he just said the fucking room was occupied. A 
Are you one of those Bosma chaps? What's that shape shift? Nothing, nothing can be nothing. made out of nothing. Let me repeat mm. mine will unto thee. Imperial. These curls must be nuffling your ears. Uh, that's, that's, my one. The... that's my line, that's my line. Fuck. Those must be muffling your ears. The room on the middle floor is taken. The ground floor or nothing. Very well. We have an accord. Glad to hear it. <clears throat> Ayo, a was it... celebrate. Was it not Smay the one with the middle floor? Uh, no, it was the other person that was in the middle floor. Fusroda! Selden? No, not Selden. Ross. No. Ross? The guy in the picture we saw. Oh, yeah, that guy. That was with Miss Green. You could probably guess what happened to him, though. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm telling you, Shamsby is a serial killer. He's living a wonderful life right now. Where nothing bad is happening. <laughs> yeah, Once he's... I heard in court today, sounds like the chap was steeping gas. 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 And there uh, he was, and here was three months in arrears, with the rent too. Yes, the fellow was a bully player, all right. Every time someone, what? every time someone's angry at you, just whip out the sham sphere dance. Don't be so nice to- Don't take that tone of- Condescending tone of voice, you cost me my fucking wife. <laughs> and not in a steal your girl way either. She's in fucking jail! <laughs> it was all in the name of justice. Justy's nuts! <laughs> just eyes. Justice just is. The sniper rifle has not been invented yet. Please, <laughs> but it will please, be. Please accept this musket ball instead. <laughs> no, please accept this cannon instead. <laughs> I've already had a bully fire in this goddamn place. <laughs> musket balls. Just whip out that sword on your fucking... That's hanging by your suit. Your military suit. That's not a bad idea. Come back here, Sholmes! No! Skyrim belongs to the Lords! <laughs> Thank you for your candor, Mr. Garadet. We are most grateful. By way of appreciation, allow me to show, say one or two words. I've got two for you. <laughs> Give me my robe, put on my crown. I have immortal loggings in me. <laughs> That's more than a couple of words. I have a couple for you. What's Fuck happened off. to you? What happened? What happened to you? <laughs> I miss my wife. <laughs> Thanks, I miss my dear wife fellow. Tales. I miss her on. The most famous lines. I wish I'd have rolled my own learning on the subject, for I have a turn for literature too. You know. Perhaps you would turn your attention to more. Apt lines, then. You weirdo. <laughs> Every time Sean does something in front of Rhea and Nosuke, what is wrong with you? <laughs> is it Gary Dev? Can I ask you to look at this photograph? Every time I see it, it makes look me laugh. Look at this photograph! Every time I do it, it makes me laugh. 
Is that your son who's with you there? Obviously, it's Bob Ross. Look at him. <laughs> You're both painters. Yep. And just like Bob Ross, he probably painted the best things in no, the world. No, not at all. He was a lodger here once. Duncan Ross was his name. Duncan Ross? A street photographer happened to be ha passing by, so I asked him to take a shot just for kicks, really. It triggered my PTSD, something fierce. I killed a man. Damn. Damn. Ugh. Was he by any chance the lodger before Mr. Natsume? Well, there we go. Yeah, that's right. Oh. The young gentleman who died in the room in mysterious circumstances. Just what? Just, just what Mr. Mustache was waiting for, one might say. Yes, young Duncan lived in the room at the top of the first flight of stairs before the Japanese chap. Would you mind telling us a little more about him? About Duncan, please. Yes, Duncan Ross, young chap was attending art school. Had to work to pay it, pay for it, mind. Moved into middle floor about a year ago after that criminal Selden was arrested. students always on the hunt for rooms of the history behind them. A history of cheap rent, maybe, yes. Yes, no good freeloader. Damn. It was one morning about a month ago now. Had it quite worked off the old trick of watching the gas lamps to see what my lodgers are up to at the time. Sadly, I was rather tardy to discover what happened. The smell of gas that alerted me it was. Ah, oh, yes. Anonymous with the smell of death. Called the police straight away, of course, and the officer kicked the door off its hinges. But once we got inside, we all barely collapsed. Because of the gas? Yes, the room was full of it. No air at all. Jeez. Ugh. Ugh. I don't believe that for a second. Stowe must have gone out on the poor chap was sleeping in his bed. So Mr. Ross suffocated to death.
que me pegó. Cole, so please give you a sound taken off because the gas pipes were old, so old and all that. Can't tell you how much it's set me back to have the lot replaced all over the house. But even after you had all that work done, Mr. Natsume says the same thing. The stove goes out at night while he's asleep in bed. Well, that's the Bolly curse. The convict's curse. I've done my duty as a landlord now. Someone's feeling defensive. You're a bad landlord. Ah, that reminds me actually. Yes. Oh boy. One one zero thirty seven. <laughs> Young Duncan, the night before the poor chap perished. He'd been writing a letter, a letter of affection to a young lady. I can probably guess who it is. If you'll excuse me, let me see now. What does it say? Your most beautiful and charming sweetheart. I mean, you're right, but he's dead, so... Um, do you think that we should be reading such a personal piece of correspondence? Well, if you excuse me, Neo, I'll be taking a Nintendo Switch now. No! I said if you excuse me. No. 
What, you let Sholmes take your Switch then? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Listen, he clearly needs it for, for research. Well, I need it for research. Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> I'll let him play Raincoat on it. <laughs> Probably think it would be shit. It doesn't have him in it. <laughs> He'd probably guess the fucking plot twist with the blood immediately. <laughs> but he'd think like, but everyone else would be like, no, that's stupid. <laughs> he'd be like, what did I say? <laughs> I was right. No, he'll guess it right. It just will be ass backwards. Yeah. Like the blood, like the blood is pink because in this world everyone sees in different colors. <laughs> uh, you can see with Halara here, they are wearing glasses, which means Halara Nightmare is colorblind and only to <laughs> see pink. <laughs> and we all just throw pebbles at Sean's. <laughs> and Fitz died. Wait, is he dead? I don't know. Let me check. My dear Miss Susato, that is precisely why I prefaced my reading with, if you'll excuse me. I will not excuse you, Mr. Sholmes. No! My god, just read a damn letter. Sadly, he did address it though. I have no means of delivering the thing. I'm sad, really. I see. That's going to play on my mind. The identity of Mr. Roth's sweetheart has no bearing on the case. It's Miss Green. She can probably tell us some information, so. Yeah. Thought Mr. Shamsby is a we bad leave guy. Well alone. A bad man. Yes, I suppose you're right. Indeed, the intended recipient's address is missing. However, there's a name attributed to the man's most beautiful and charming sweetheart. Out with it, man. Say it. Mr. Shulm, please. I've only had a chance. I've already had a chance with you about you this once. Yep, there we go. It's olive green. I mean, we kind of knew that. But now they yeah, know that. Yeah, we kind of figured. But now they know that. So now we're on the same page. I guess you could say William Shamspear is quite the sham. Huh? 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 I'm not gonna say a good joke, you forced it too hard.
My undying love to you, my colorful darling, Olive Grain. Now they're all. So, on how many lines of dialogue before they realize, oh wait, that's an actual person? I give it midway through the court trial. No. I give it zero lines. This is Phoenix Wright. None of it is ever that easy. I mean, we already know who she is. We got her name and everything. Yes, Fe right Phoenix there. Phoenix Wright, we have to be this stupid. <laughs> they're, not, they're not that stupid. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> they can be. <laughs> they can't be for plot reasons, but... Yeah. <laughs> They're the last investigation of case two, so they can't be stupid. <laughs> Unless someone hits them over with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Olive Green? The woman who was plunged into a coma after a knife plunged into her back outside the house five days ago? The victim of the last case Oseki son was in court for who regained consciousness only yesterday? Thank you for that summary. <laughs> Is it just chance that her name has come up now? Could it possibly be a mere coincidence? Is the sky blue and the grass green? <laughs> Olive green. Ha <laughs> 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 High five. <laughs> high five, high five, high five, high five. Naruhoto, whatever can this mean? See, Miss Suzato, reading people's notes is okay. Reading personal correspondence could have its merits, you see, Miss Suzato. Well, thanks, Garadev. Hope I don't see you in court tomorrow. I'm gonna head off for a bit, because my dog... I think my dog wants to go on a rock real quick, so I'll be right back. Hey. Naruhoto, I just fit finished speaking with the doctor. It seems Miss Green is well enough to be discharged at last. This is good news. But hopefully just before she le Oh god, is she dead? What is it? Don't tell me chance for your killer to... Okay, cool, she's alive. Miss Green! What was that? She clearly just hit something behind her back. One, one moment! I'll be with you in a jiffy! Oh boy. I'll be with you in a jiffy! <laughs> Hello everyone, what are you all doing here? The doctor has said I can be discharged, so I'm just getting my things to get a... get the... Miss Green, what were you just doing? Oh, um, nothing, really. I was just about to take some medicine the doctor's prescribed for me, that's all. Well, we were hoping to have another quick chat with you, if that's alright. I don't really have anything else to tell you. Alright, she's definitely behaving strangely. Let's see if we can coax something out of her. Mm 
This is the bottle that Miss Green was just about to drink from when we arrived. Yes, yeah, she looked rather preoccupied, didn't she? Perhaps it's very bitter. I can't stand bitter medicine. I suppose that could be it. In fact, whenever a doctor prescribes me medicine for a number of days, I always take it all at once. You shouldn't do that. Oh no! No! Well, you have to take something you don't like. It's best to get it all out of the way in one go, isn't it? No! Oh, I got an achievement for that down in one. <laughs> You're not supposed to take oh, the whole damn I thought thing. It was Miss Green, I should be worrying about in the moment. <laughs> That's why it's called prescribed medicine, Naruhodo. It tells you how much you should take, dumbass. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. <laughs> Miss Green, we were hoping to ask you about someone, Mr. Duncan Ross. You knew him, didn't you? Oh no! Oh no! It's pink. Oh no! I'm so sorry. The power of medicine fell down when she did. Oh, Miss Green, are you all right? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to startle you like that. No, it's all right. I just wasn't expecting it. But how do you know about Duncan? Mm -hmm. Mr. Ross had been writing a letter when he passed away. The landlord found it in his room. It was a very personal letter to you. It was... It was at the art school. That's where I met Duncan a year ago now. He was working to fund his study. He's, he dreamt of becoming a professional artist one day. And the two he became romantically involved. The Shamsphere asked for a commission on himself, and Duncan yes. said no. That's right. <laughs> we were very much in love. We were engaged to meet, be married, actually. That's why I decided to move into a cheaper room to save money for the wedding. Wedding. And that's what led him to Mr. Garadabs. Yes, he told me he'd found the worst, but cheapest room in the entire East End. And then, what, a month ago? That's when it happened. I feel so fucking bad. I wanna kill Shamsphere more now. We're so terribly sorry, Miss Green. Well, it's all in the past now, I suppose. It's all in the past now, I suppose. Poor Miss Green. She looks desperately sad. I was sorry to think that just her look. But now I see that she has every reason to feel the universe is against her. First, your husband. First, the uh, person you love died. Then, you go into a fucking coma. And then the worst person you ever know that could have possibly killed your future husband is with you in your hospital room. <laughs> the bow fell off before when Miss Green collapsed. That was quite an earthquake. So 
whatever was in the bottle? Honey, maybe, or charcoal, or syrup, or all three mixed together, maybe? <sighs> Mr. Naruhobo. You've been having a lot of very mean thoughts during this exchange. I'm disappointed in you. Sorry. I mean... It's wonderful news that you're going to be discharged, Miss Green. Oh, yes. I, I mean, thank you. Uh, once people are better, the hospital staff don't want them lingering and wasting space. Not people like me, anyway. Jesus me anyway. Christ, lady. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I should keep anyone waiting. I probably shouldn't stand around and chat. She certainly does seem to be in the mood to talk, that's for sure. Um, I do hope you won't think I'm being rude, but... Would you mind leaving me in peace now? I have to leave the hospital soon. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. We didn't mean to hold you up. Of course we... Uh... What is it? I think this is Otto. Mr. Naruhoto! Oh, no, I... Mr. <laughs> Naruhoto! <laughs> Surely you are now about to leave? That's quite out of the question. What? Mr. Shums, I didn't realize you were here. But of course I was, my dear fellow. Watching intently from the shadows, as always. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that one fucking frame in, in uh, Hereditary where he's like climbing on the ceiling. Like, we're in the corner of the room. Well... Make your presence known next time. No. <laughs> no. Mr. Charles, what's this all about? Something which occurs to me with some regularity, Miss Susato, is this. Why do detectives insist on such an ex post facto mondo's operandi? Why solve a case after it happened? Instead of preventing a case before it happens, that was such a great detective apart. What do you mean? There is a case waiting to happen under our very noses, Mr. Naruhoto. So let us avert disaster. Let us prevent this case from ever happening with nothing but careful observation. All right. All the clues you need are set before you. You need only look and you cannot fail to see. Is the medicine poisoned? Yeah, I see a dead rat there. Oh no, the rat's dead! You can do it, Mr. Narihoto! I know you can! She was gonna commit suicide. Oh god! Oh no! The mouse seems to be dead. Look, I didn't notice it there before, did you? I think perhaps it drank the medicine that spilled out of the bottle. But that's... The bottle that Miss Green was about to drink from when we arrived. You... You don't think... Mm. Ah, I see you come to appreciate the true nature of the scene. That a tragedy about to take place. Yes, I... I think it's falling into pieces. <laughs> Miss Green, the contents of the bottle you had before this spilled out on the floor... And the, and the poor mouse that drank it has sadly died. Hmm... I think it's clear that the bottle must have contained a powerful poison. Oh! Mm. Oh, what the fuck? Don't worry, I will tend to- Oh! Oh, I'm dumb! Oh, oh, thank god. What happened? 
Oh, that's... Uh... Terrifying things. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... I think I have to crop this, but... Miss Green? Just, just... just... Were you intending to go the same way as that rodent? To take your own life. Let's just say I forgot that I, uh... I forgot to re-add something in the render. Uh -oh. While I was testing something. Once we left, you have put to your and, lips uh... again, wouldn't you? And taken the poison. And, uh... Yeah, this happened. It ah, so I, I... Uh oh. What the fuck? <laughs> it's I had one layer set to render, but not the other. I had one layer set to render, but not the other. That's just creepy. Yeah. Man, never I'll mind, I've seen creepier. How the fur Ten seconds later, we would have arrived at a very different scene here. In all probability, we would not have enjoyed this most delightful conversation. Of course, perhaps it has... Has it been quite so delightful from your perspective, Miss Green? In a way... In a way... Now that everything's out in the open, I feel like a weight has been lifted. Oh, that's good. Tell me, how did you acquire that... medicine? Hmm... Well, with this being a hospital and all, when the doctor comes to examine me in the mornings, he always leaves the medicine cabinet open for a while, so I snuck this out when he wasn't looking. It's conspicuous it conspicuously lacks a label. I I wonder what it contains. I'm afraid I don't really know. But I thought if I drank it, it might just stop the pain somehow. No. Mm. <laughs> oh, please, Miss Green, don't talk of such things. Well, it seems clear now that I contained poison. I shall remove this to my office, Miss Green. I take it you have no objection. Dun, 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 dun. No, no. It definitely feels as though this card must be relevant. I mean, when we first arrived, Miss Green was standing within her hand in what can only be described as a very tense atmosphere. may very well be related to whatever incident Mr. Sholmes believes was about to happen here. Is it a suicide note? Maybe. Or maybe someone was telling her to commit suicide. Perhaps we should ask Miss Green about it.
Either the sender's name or address appear to be written on the envelope or the card. Oh, hey, look. I ripped that- I ripped that uh, note open. Yeah. Phoenix ripped that note open. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It arrived at my post at my home the day before the incident that put me in hospital here. I have information regarding the death of Duncan Ross. Come to the Slug and Salad on Bri Road at 5 p.m. on 17th. Don't tell anybody else about this letter or the meeting. It is a matter of utmost importance. Wait a minute. The 17th of this month? That's the day... That's the day you were stabbed on Briar Road! But, um, at 5 p.m.? It's precisely the time when the incident occurred. Oh my god, so someone did try to kill her. Oh, Jesus. The succulent salad, yes. A pub on the northern corner of Briar Road. Briar Road? Being the street that Mr. Garrett has house on. Does this mean that? Did we just send an innocent woman to jail? Yes, I'm sure you guessed that day. What the I hell did you just say? Nothing. I was actually. Someone go to wait. On my way to the slug and salad. Goodness. So that's what you were doing on Briar Road that day? I'm sorry, I didn't say anything before. I think I really will have to ask you to excuse me now. I've told you everything. Yes, I'm very sorry to have to drag up such painful memories for you. No, it's fine. I want to give her a fucking hug, man. Yeah. Miss Green. Skipper, your voice isn't helping at all. You're making me sad. Miss <laughs> Green, please promise us you won't try to do anything like that again. Do a flip! <clears throat> yes, don't worry. Your detective friend has the bottle now anyway. <laughs> and besides... Don't lick it off the floor, please. <laughs> I've been stabbed in the back and had a close shave with a bottle of poison, and I'm still here. I think I'm destined to see things through to the end. That's one way to look at it. Yeah. It might sound a little conceited, but, well, that's how all this has made me feel. Take on the world, Miss Green. I believe as in you. As long as she's alive. Leaving Miss Green as St. Bar Barlamuse behind. We made our way back to Baker Street with Mr. Shones. That's a long ass road. <laughs> well, it would appear we have reached the end of the investiga investigated trail for today. Yes, it's late. And Mr. Naruhoto. Did you discover anything that may be of use to you in court tomorrow, do you think? Details about Mr. Shamspear or Mr. Gerardus' lodgings? To convict Selden. There are many facts to this case, and we're yet to see to the heart of it, if you ask me. That's my feeling, anyway. I, I can't help wondering about the results of the analysis. It's a Mr. Natsume's tea, you mean? in it or not. Strychnine in it. Well, I feel that either way. It would be hard to escape the grip of our friend, Mr. Reaper. 
We... <laughs> die, die, die. Oh, dear. Yes, Beric von Zeeks. But I wish you every success, of course. And though I was late to rise this morning... Tomorrow will be a new dawn. I intend to spring from my bed at a crisp hour and attend the trial. Not sure. You're gonna go? Indeed. Whatever happens, I shall be there. Assuming my eyelids cooperate in the morning. Well, I think we've done all we can. All that's left is to remain focused and keep fighting for Mr. Natsume's cause until the very end. <laughs> London, the world's most prosperous, prosperous city, home to some six million people. But away from the razzle daddle down the back alleys and behind bricked up windows, the lonely lurk. So Seki san had battled long and hard with loneliness during his many months here. And so I felt honor bound to bow equally hard for my compatriot to lift the curse that gripped him. As Mr. Sholm said, tomorrow would be a new dawn for all of us. Why are you acting like this is the final fucking case of the game, man? Jesus. <laughs> Just gotta have one more heroic monologue in there for, for good sake. For, for heroic monologue for luck. For luck. Door stuck. <laughs> Door stuck. Genuine Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Take about 400 steps back. <laughs> He's gonna shit himself! <laughs> and Sholmes isn't here. I wasn't expecting it either, right? He might be. There are multiple bailiffs in this room. Oh yeah, you're right. We never know. <laughs> this is it then, Mr. Naruhodo. Yes, it's time to put an end to this now. To the miserable curse that has been plaguing Mr. Natsume. To everything. And in my own small way, I shall do everything I can to help you. I always appreciate your help, Miss Suzato. Mass take over. <clears throat> Suffering so sicky, selfishly sidelined. Good morning. I'm my own head off. Good morning to you too, Mr. Natsume. Don't do that. Good morning! Good morning. Locum student, Mr. Naruhodo Esquire! Listen to you two chatting away happily, as if the main play of today's trial isn't here! Why would you do that? WHY?! Oh dear, is this because of that, Mr. Nutsmith? I thought perhaps that's because you had your eyes shut so tightly you were meditating, finding in a tome. I'm fighting outer, outer anxiety! <laughs> I was waiting for today. What's the matter, Mr. Mitsumi? You see? Different somehow today. Well, actually, that's because I have a, t a 
attain spiritual enlightenment. That's like you got a haircut. And you should get rid of that yee yee ass haircut yourself. <laughs> I can't say the next word. The path of literature, you see. It's a journey to discover one's own death. Oh, such like. That sort of neat morning conversation I was hoping for. That's why I had my eyes shut. I missed the signs, I'm afraid. Somehow. You'll have to forgive me. I could never. Um. Uh, and you mustn't talk of your past leading you to death, uh, not me. That was just an example! Oh yes, there it is. And they're calm. You barely came to see me at all yesterday. I'm sure you would abandon me and return to our beautiful long lost homeland. We've not even been in Great Britain a week yet. Yes, well, anyway. I intend to set everything straight in court today. I'm determined to uncover the truth. decision. I shall fill you in. I shall fill you in after the trial. All right. It would seem Mr. Sholmes isn't coming today after all. Proper message, I think. My dear fellows, you must win this battle on your own merit. It's very clear he's message. I think that he's overslept again. <laughs> ah, yes, Sherlock Holmes, my arch rival. The great detective. Long may he stay away, if you ask me. Defendant, your legal representative. Trial's about to begin. Make your way into the courtroom immediately. Well, Time to die. No. Today, once again, we face the Reaper. And when the Reaper stands for the prosecution, the defendant's fate is sealed. I don't believe in that legend any more than I believe in Soseki-san's curse. Do the winds of sun and of vain know you could be like Zaya? Come on, baby, fears a reaper. The truth is hidden here somewhere. I won't let it escape me. I am missing the blue duo. Okay. I have to keep believing in my client and keep fighting to the very end. That's all. I just want to point out that the green duo card for this, uh, for Bloomborough is cute as fucking hell. It is a squirrel raccoon duo called the Baker's Bane duo. And it's just a squirrel and a raccoon sitting at a, 
window about to steal a pie. <laughs> In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, I hereby declare this court to be in session. I call upon the Council for the Prosecution and Defense to declare their willingness to participate. Proceed. <laughs> Fuck you, I know what I said. Yeah. Prosecution is ready. I'm looking at my furry cards. Do not mind me. Yes, the defense is ready. Very good. I will now. And now I call upon the six ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Pa. <laughs> I'm fucking there. Uh uh. I was, I was listening to the Chicago soundtrack the other day. Mm -hmm. Cell Block Tango nice. fucking slaps. I know, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> and my, my mom's... Uh, the reason why I've been thinking about it recently is because uh, my mom's doing rehearsals for a show. That's why I haven't been able to do Trials and Tribulations with her, because she's been doing rehearsals for it. Damn, uh, nice. She isn't in like Chicago itself, but like it's in a, like, a kind of... Show where it's just a bunch of different songs from a bunch of different musicals. Uh, and she's in Cell Block Tango and she's doing uh, Second Lady. She's doing, uh, you know, Some Guys Just Can't Hold Their Arsenic. She's doing that lady. Yeah. I, I still, I just love how they describe the murders today. It's such a good fucking Yeah, song. it's so, so good. I fired, so I fired two warning shots. Into his head. Let it come. <laughs> if we do this, we'll be here all day. Yeah, <laughs> we'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> Chosen by luck, represent the will of the people in this trial. Are you ready to proceed? Absolutely. Justice will be done. You mark my words. I feel obligated to say I feel especially ruthless on these days when my hat is sitting just right. You've said that before. Oh, well, I was wondering if you could adjust my hat for me and please be as ruthless as you like. Wow, okay. buddy! <laughs> thieves deserve to die if you ask me. Especially gas thieves. I have no sympathy for the man at all. Uh, judge. <laughs> Biased jury! Yeah! <laughs> I mean, is she wrong, though? <laughs> it's just gas. Yes. Look, I said yesterday, I'll say it again now. I don't have time for this. I got my own problems. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, may the Lord show us all the light here. And he is back to a righteous verdict yet again. Did I kill another patient today? <laughs> No, but you probably left something open for a patient to kill themselves with today. Oh yeah, the arsenic. Was it the lidocaine? Morphine? Cyanide. Unlabeled poison. Radon? It's the 1400s, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific. <laughs> Lord Fanzinks, what can you tell us? The prosecution's report, please, for the court. In relation to the theory expounded by the defense yesterday regarding the defendant's tea. 
So he does have the results. Mm. But he's probably not happy about it. Black. He <laughs> just eats the glass. <laughs> As to you, Inspector. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. As indicated by the defense, we found a bar of soap just outside the victim's window in the snow. And there was indeed a frozen reddish liquid and a little depression on the top of it. Yes! That's the tea! That's what Mr. Natsume brought with him that night! Well... And now he's pissy! That's the tea! Well, the brains at the yard analyzed it, and yes, you're right, it was tea. And there wasn't a trace of Strike 9 or any other toxic substance in it, what? Strike 9! That was the poison of the case! Damn it, I did have a bottle of Strike 9! Where'd it go? Dope. I think it's all over the floor there, Doc. Well, now I think. Floorboards? Now under the floorboards. 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 Man, you just hear Terry Terry writhing in pain under there. <laughs> Everyone the beat! Taylor Swift! <laughs> Taylor Swift! <laughs> no poison at all? Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I still can't stop laughing at that video. Yeah, it's so funny. You know the words to tell you that the defendant brought with him to the victim's room is innocent. It's in the clear. What a revelation. As I suspected. This makes it quite clear. The defendant, Mr. Soseki Natsu. Shut the fuck up. My learned friend is jumping to conclusions again. A typical Nippon's reaction. What? <laughs> yes, it's true. No poison was found in a few drops of liquid recovered from the soap in the window guard and bench. But what logic is that? Would you take a drop from the Thames and conclude that the water is in the ocean isn't salty? Probably filled with toxic though, so. My word! The ocean and the water in the ocean is extremely salty, Council. Oh no, the judge's been hit by stupid. Da 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 as the court has already heard. I mean, if you are desperate to drink salt water. Bitter was the precise words from the lips of Mr. William Shakespeare. Shamspeare, wherever the fuck his name is. Whom is the prosecution now calls back to the stand? Oh, goody, I'm going back. Very well, I will uphold the prosecution's request. I guess you guess. You know I think is a is a very funny gimmick of this uh, Bloomberg set. Mr. Shamspear. Yeah. It is canon that multiple of these cards 
canonically fuck because there is a mechanic called Offspring where you pay more mana to get a second version of the card. Damn. And it's already is already an adult by then. Like what happened? I, I, I can only assume. Fitting that I think most of them are bunnies. Yes. It sounds like we're going to have another confrontation with our theatrical friend. But that said, one of the tokens I have is for Manifold now, so... They fuck like, they look... they fuck like rats. That was a mouse. They fuck a like mouse. I think there's a bunch of squirrels that also have the mechanic. Probably a few bats, too. My bat okay, overlord. Show Mr. Chamspear to the stand. Uh, I wish the bats were better so I could add them to my vampire deck. Eh? You are the reason I drink. I get that a lot. I drink to forget. <laughs> Every time someone hits me, I with say a lot of slurs in this courtroom, but I will save my worst for you. Two hours later, Damn, bro. You could write a Macbeth play about that. <laughs> An Olean slave. Why not? It's already been translated into Klingon. I'm not that's surprised. Not that's not a joke. Exactly. I, that's why I said I'm not surprised. Mr. William Shamspear is a victim of this despicable crime. Oh heaven, oh hell, do you command me to remember? Forsooth, twas I, Shamspear, did have a belly full of the foul fluid given in my innocence. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secret. <laughs> As was revealed in yesterday's proceedings, the witness is not as innocent as we perhaps first been led. <laughs> kind of a sussy baka. By using bombs of soap as such, this has been stealing gas from the supply company. Yeah. One may smile and smile and be a villain. Forsooth was I, Shamsphere, did have a room full of the sweet fluid given. Never say that phrase again! That's right, fellow jurors. Don't forget this man's a rotten thief! Well, I haven't forgotten. Kept all that about the ice coins and a tiny secret, didn't you? You should have owned up sooner. Kill him! Take this man out back for him to get shot! No, we need the ammo for the war. It's number four. And Mio yeah. died. Hold on, it's loading. No. Arrest him, I say. Arrest him at once, and let him feel the sting in my tail. Oh, indeed. By dint of vile and cowardly means have I plotted to further my own ends. I confess, thou wouldst not pardon my sins. Of that I am sure. Oh my god. Ugh. If you acknowledge your wrongdoing, what exactly are you doing here? Cowards die many times before their deaths, and poor cowards such as I, death be well deserved. But what that has still greater crime passeth unpunished. 
Hello, well, no, the hairy-faced gentleman of Father East. Then Verona did contrive to poison me. Objection. Mr. Electric sent this man to the principal office to have him expelled. But there was no poison in the tea found in your room. The police have attested to that. What the defense would assert is an inconsistency as an inconsistently quickly will quickly be cleared up by the witness's testimony. Is that not so, Mr. Shamsphere? For I leave, my liege, I will most gladly speak. Very well, let the witness testify to explain the inconsistency. Tell the court why that poison apparently entered your body, though none was found in the tea. <coughs> I'm going to kill him, 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 I'm going to drain him dry. The Japanese man did come to my chamber with tea brewed in a pot. Twas in my cup alone that the wicked miscreant secretly put his wicked poison. While as feigning destruction in our debate, near it did a drop of his own drink pass his lips. When he departed by and by, I did use the tea that remained in his cup to make my coins of ice. Thus, tis no surprise that poison be not found in the tea I did pour into the mouth of soap. I am moving my arms a lot when I talk like that. <laughs> Was the night before Christmas, all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The poison was slipped into the cup after the tea had been poured. It was the night before Christmas, all through the house. <laughs> Not a creature was stirring, not, not even, even a mouse. mouse. Cause the mouse died to poison. <laughs> it's me, Gregory. Gregory Hedgehog. <laughs> no! <laughs> Gregory. <laughs> yeah, Freddy. What the hell y'all doing on him here? What is the Freddy Fire Bear doing to my. <laughs> Dung on farm. <laughs> the Edgeworth farm. <laughs> Yeehaw! We're serving corn and serving lawsuits. Yeehaw! Even Kaya. <laughs> Come down today. Try some corn, or we will we'll sacrifice, sacrifice your newborn. This is a normal way for poison to be administered. In my experience. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, okay. hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey, Naruhodo, how does this drink? <laughs> I don't drink. Drink some me. It's juice. <laughs> oh, I'm on a diet. It's keto. <laughs> I'm still on a diet. It's water. <laughs> oh, my favorite. <laughs> Oh wait, is it regular? Is it tap water? I can't drink tap water. <laughs> this one's the cock and cock! <laughs> oh, I some pores on your fucking throat! <laughs> My learned Nepalese friend. Pick it up. Pick it up. Eat, eat it up. Quite. Otherwise, it would be disastrous if the poisoner were to mix up the cups, for instance. But no poison bottle was found at the scene! Because, quite simply, the Nepanese took the bottle back to his own room. Oh, I didn't think about that. 
<laughs> the absence of the pedestal containing the poison only becomes problematic when considering suicide. Ugh, I knew that. But now it should be perfectly clear. A bar to cheap soap. is wholly insufficient to wash the deep stains of guilt from the accused hands. Ah! Oh! Sirs, madams, tis true that I, Shamspear, be a common thief of gears. No gears. But! But! <laughs> On the jersey, just here. Kill him! Kill him now! But! But! Listen here, ladies and gentlemen! I shook at my dick. <laughs> I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. Just, I just want to talk to him. I just, I just, I just, I just want to talk. Just want to talk. Just want to ignore, ignore the sword. Just, I, I just want to talk. Just, I, I just want to, just five minutes. Just five minutes. Just leave, leave, close the door, turn off the lights. <laughs> Wherefore would I lie? Fairly, I have no cause. I have not to lose. Well, he's got a he got a perfectly valid point there, doesn't he? I do declare. That William Shakespeare guy is kind of spitting fire right now. <laughs> William Shakespeare was born in... Thank you for in, your testimony, witness. In the Council, proceed with the cross-examination. William Shakespeare was born in the 2000s. Will he spit hot fire? Uh, <laughs> yes, my lord. Damn, look at that. Mm. This must be the cup that Mr. Shamsby was drinking from then. It's stained on the inside. She does that, I'm afraid. <laughs> green tea. Oh, I could go for some green tea right now. Oh, really? I never noticed before. You've never noticed? Well, I never leave it in the cup long enough to leave a mark. I like to gulp it down. Oh my god, he he likes taking everything at once. Oh my god. Drink tea while it's hot. That's the Japanese way, isn't it? <laughs> I have a dirty joke that I want to say, but I'm restraining myself. I... Oh dear, so many people seem to have the wrong idea about our culture, and most of them are Japanese! <laughs> I... want to say it! I... Speak up from which Mr. Matsune was thinking. Yes, unlike the other one, the inside of the cup is completely clean. I'm just using my Yuma voice for Naruto at this point. <laughs> I suppose he must have drunk the contents before the tea had a chance to leave a mark. I always gulp it down, too. Sorry, Mr. Naruto? I'm kind of stupid. Well, you just sip a little by little, it goes cold. Really, I shall have to instruct you in the proper way to make tea. Now. I will drink tea my way while it's hot and steamy. And burning my fucking throat. 
kind of, kind of, like... Uh, Objection. Kind of, like... Um, I just had to get that out there. You claim that Mr. Natsume didn't drink a drop of tea on the night in question. But that's impossible. How, how, how? Chop logic? What is this, you dark, you clad fiend? The two keeps up from the scene. One used by the victim, and the other by the defendant. Have a clear difference between them. One that represents incontrovertible proof! I'm gonna break it down. Incontrovertible. That difference. Look at the inside of the cups. Just here, there's a clearly visible ring. Enough. <laughs> Indeed, such stains occur all too readily when one leaves tea and cup for a while. And yet, Mr. Natsume's cup has no such ring. Right. It's completely clean. If it is you. Oh wait, he's a <laughs> And price, sir, what makest thou out of it? Exactly what Mr. Natsume told the court yesterday. The Japanese saying he quoted. Drink? Tea? That's right. Yes. The jittery Mr. Natsume was true to his usual self that night and drank his tea in no time. Uh. If as you claim in your testimony he didn't touch a drop of his tea. A ring would have developed on the inside of the cup as well. After several hours, the tea was left standing. But, uh... In short, Mr. Shamsphere, you clearly lied to the court! Get me to an enemy! Objection. I didn't know my voice could go that high. Drink. All right, Godot. <laughs> doesn't be doesn't be Godot's seventeen cups of coffee though. As a road, I feel the hello chalice up a set up to seven times during any one trial. 
You might want to keep that information to yourself. Are you getting away? Throws glass at you, uh, at Naruto. Ah! Shut the fuck up! Ah, you bitch! Slurs! Yet on occasion, tedium distracts me and I pour more times than I intend until the bottle is dry. Your drinking habits are fascinating, but irrelevant. On the contrary, they illustrate the fickleness of human memory. <laughs> to William Shakespeare. <laughs> yes, my liege. Hey. Yeah, yeah they, they said it was back. I know, but you had yourself muted there for a second there. Though you previously Great. stated that you make the coins of ice from the leftover tea in the accursed cup, could it be that you were perhaps mistaken? That's the face of a man that shit himself. Uh -huh. Yeah, perhaps there was some tea remaining in a small teacup pot left at the scene. How many glasses does he have? Jesus. <laughs> A lot. Why isn't his white clothes red by now? <laughs> Pristine. Ah! <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? You don't really think far ahead. Oh, blood. Uh, <laughs> it just, he just stuffs his whole hand in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> Fucking boss in Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> I taught that one. Who are you, subtle uh -huh. demon? A fancy has that had vanished from your memory until now. Isn't that right? Hey, my liege. Thou art a magician. Really, tis thou hast seen with thine own eyes that night. What? Forsooth, I was mistook. I did plan to use tea for the Japanese fellow's cup, but lo, when I looked, it was empty. And thus did I use the dregs that festered in the teapot. As my liege did suggest. Objection. And you just suddenly remembered now that you made a mistake before? Are we supposed to believe that? People's memories are imperfect, my learned friend, which is why we rely on evidence Ooh. instead. <sighs> but in any case, it makes no difference. Pointing. Bum, 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 bum. 
The victim's muscle is a testimony it tells us two things about of not. Firstly, that the poison was put into the victim's teacup only. And secondly, that this spoiled cup was not the source of the insipid ice coins that had bewitched this court. Ice coins? You could trade them in for fire coins. Prosecution makes a fine summary of the facts. Does this mean Shamsper invented cryptocurrency? Maybe. Hey, and, I like this guy! I mean, it, it's, fa it's fake money that disappears. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's totally real! Why am I in the 1400s? Why do I know it's the 1400s? Kill this man with bricks. Ah! Furthermore, that testimony remains valid and in full support of the evidence. Established facts. In other words. Shoom! Ba na 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 na! Na 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 na! The inconsistently claimed by the defense hip. Does not exist. No! Play as a thicken child! What does this mean then? I do declare there's no issue with the gas. I do declare for me there's no issue with the gas. Well, for the bit of the team of gas, obviously. My lords, ladies, and gentlemen of the jury, I do solemnly swear. But I'm up to no good. There I did dine at Grub's Grubbery Ale House that night. Not did pass my lips, but the black tea given to me by the Japanese, whose back be stooped as low as death. You were given not to. Sorry. And what do you... And on what do you dine, sir? Fall out. Why, I did partake of my favorites. Broth, that's what's be called soup, and a leaf, that's what's be called salad. Damn, he's really poor out here. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't feel bad. I'm all about helping the poor, but not this one. <laughs> as in salubrious a menu as the establishment where it was served. But you gods will give us some faults to make us men. Willingly would I suffer what punishments to seem fit to serve a wicked thief of gas. But... I pray ye wise and noble fellows, never forget the simple truth. Damn. That being one thing, and this be another. Terazol, your humble servant Shamsbeard doth and you punish the Japanese fellow for his sins. Wait, what? Wait, wait a minute. Dude. My, it, my lord. My lord. Oh, no. <laughs> punish the Japanese man for my sins. Bruh. Bruh, what the Who's gonna be on your side? My lord? That's some like 3D fucking chests are not getting guilty right there. Yeah.
look, I know I murdered a couple yes, of people. Yes, Mr. Foreman? But I also got killed. Kind of. Almost. <laughs> and that counts enough for me. <laughs> Which mean I was one of my victims. <laughs> oh, why is me? Woe's me. I died. Kinda. I believe we may have been duped by the rotten defense lawyer. By me? What the fuck? I do declare he may be right. Y'all know the way, the way, the way, the wop. Wah! Wah! Sorry. Wave. No, it's wah. Wah! Wah! Wonder Wah DG2. They were making coins of ice to keep himself warm. What? What? <laughs> That's not what we're playing at all, you dumbass! Badge says if we steal in gas, he deserves a dose of poison, eh? He's been leading us up the garden path, that's what he's been doing. Yeah, believe the blue-eyed, blonde hair white man, okay? I really never said anything like that. Am I dealing with fucking morons? Apparently. But what we just heard from the victim there has opened our eyes again! Uh, I wanna shove up my. up. up his throat. <laughs> We've reached a decision this time, and we won't be swayed from it. Court acknowledges the position of the jury foreman. They really brought in the most stupidest jury for this fucking case. It's the jury from last time, except for the woman. They really brought in the. We'll do they hear from the jury's findings? They really brought in the stupidest jurors from the last game. What? No! You you can't yet. What the fuck? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will state your decisions now. Damn it. Guilty. 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 I can't believe right, it's trial over. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. There was no examination, examination anymore. He's just like, yeah, we had to revoke that law like, Ten minutes before you got here. <laughs> Cause we hate you. <laughs> let me hit out. Let me hit out the wombo combo of saying not on to that. Not uh. Mm, yeah. Not uh. Mm, girl, what? How? How is this possible? How did this dude do it? I applaud him, but how did he do it? Context gun. A man from Saudi Arabia holds I the Guinness World Record it. for connecting over 400 game consoles to a single TV. Damn. How? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I hereby declare the jury to be in one accord. Ooh, happy day! Yes, punish a man for my crimes. Cause he he is bearing the sins. He is bearing my sins. So he should be killed right now. How is this happening? My lord, the defense asserts his right to carry out a examination examination. 
That, that's, what, that's just fucking stupid. Very well, the court will uphold the defense's right. Typical. Shake it off, shake it off. Off the balls. Typical. My learned friend is unable to accept the obvious truth. I like this new ghost design at Thunderbolt. This trial will therefore enter its second summonation examination immediately. Jurors, the court calls upon each of you. To state the grounds upon which you find the defendant guilty of the crime of which he is charged. Judicial finding. Game mechanic upon ye. I am a man of logic, and having considered all the evidence, the defense it must logically be guilty. I do agree that the gas is far too expensive. I can quite understand why the man would want to avoid pain. The stuff explodes and it can poison you. It's absolutely lethal gas is. Gas doesn't come for free. It costs a fortune to deliver it around the city and maintain the pipes. Don't be told, the team I waft us off of me is a little sketchy at times. That's thank you, I think. If nothing else passed the victim's lips that night, there's no other explanation, is there? Rain is literally a grown ass woman. What are you guys talking about? Hmm. I do feel that perhaps personal opinion about gas and its supply has influenced decisions somewhat. Gee, you fucking think? <laughs> Who the fuck said that? <laughs> Elephant gun. Uh, hey, look, season four teaser, Doctor Doom's castle. That won't save you. But never mind. Huh? No, no, you really should mind. The truth is, our counter argument wasn't as unassailable as we thought. I think the thing I'm most excited about next season is the fucking town full of Mysterios. The Mysterio town is so fucking hype. And Mr. Shamspear was poisoned. There can be no doubt of that. Then how are we supposed to turn this around? I think... We need to establish the method by which Mr. Shamsby was actually poisoned. Our only hope is to demonstrate that to the court. Incontrovertibly. But... But that's surely almost impossible at this stage! If we don't manage it though, Mr. Nathanae will... Be found guilty.
No delays, Council. Proceed with the summonation examination. Damn, I look cool with my mouse on. Well, I, oh, wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> like a sham sphere in the corner oh, over no. there. Oh no. <laughs> Nick. What? What did you press press? Oh, I just took a screenshot, that's it. It's contagious! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you caught the Neo disease! <laughs> At least he's not taking a screenshot of every little thing. <laughs> like I do. Like God, but if I had long? for how long? If I had these games on the Switch, I'd be taking pictures of Kazuma every single time. Can we please refrain from all this talk of Gaius? <laughs> Gaius, Gaius, Gaius. There's an all out attack underway here, the in case approach. you hadn't noticed, against my company's gas. And I'm supposed to sit here and take it, am I? I don't think so. He's really hey, Neo. buzzing now. What? There should always be more Shinigami photos on your Switch. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, why I said about why a is wonderful this one... It's explosions and poisoning. <laughs> what about electricity, hmm? What about getting electrocuted? What about all that? A little explosion here and there is nothing in comparison. What? What? What, the what? Fuck are you talking about? Excuse me? Are you saying explosions are way more containable than a fucking electrical hazard? What? Uh, I mean, debatably. I mean, it's a it's a it's a fucking house filled with like traveling gas, so. And the explosion can hardly be described as nothing, madam. Nevertheless, the oh. theft of gas of your gas is deplorable. My point, exactly. But well, the ghost things out. aren't even the worst of our enemies. I'm looking through these cards, and this look, look at this card, and just realize this is a four card. Oh. Uh -huh. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until the end of turn, create a food token, and the flavor text is edibility is in the eye of the beholder. What? And it's called savor. That's. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. To be fair, the theme of this is, you know, a Red Wall-esque world of anthropomorphic animals. Oh. It's targeted. This shit is targeted. They have the gay furries, the kinky furries, the four weirdos. They have a twink weasel. Yeah, I know. There was just the talking. They are far more devious reprobates than contend to contend with on a daily basis, you know. More devious? Who, madam? Other gas companies, of course. Uh, yes. Other yes. gas companies? <laughs> Not quite what I was expecting. <laughs> we look, generate look, look, look. gas and we deliver it to our customers fair and square. Twink weasel. <laughs> I also keep hearing the infamous cruel calls like the card to get of this set. Indeed, no one is questioning that, madam. Oh, Altamont what? is an exemplary gas company. I'm gonna make a deal. And there are other unscrupulous gas companies here in London that don't even have any gas at all. What? I do wonder if uh, they'll add rules for uh, Bloomber Bloomborough now that it's been added to Dungeons Dragons. Right? Magic the Gathering is canon to D&D. What? But they don't have any gas. How do they go about selling it to people? Um, 
Bustin, 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 make me feel good, feel good, feel good. I'm still disappointed that Gozer didn't want the next ghost in Spirit Unleash. It's a be fair, how do you even make Gozer? Gozer's a fucking god. Man, Ghostbusters captured gods before. Uh -huh. I mean, or in destroyed terms of them. making it a video game. I mean, I guess Vecna is technically an ascended lich. That's pretty much a god. You wouldn't think it possible, would you? But they steal our gas, you see, and sell that. I'm more disappointed that they picked the community picked the boogeyman. That's what I'm disappointed about because it was the boogeyman versus Gozer versus the librarian ghost. I was on Team Gozer or Librarian Ghost. Cause as much as I like the Ghostbusters cartoon, the Boogeyman Ghost looks like shit. Oh yeah, someone here was uh, asking about uh, Markiplier's brother's uh, furry comic. That was oh yeah, Doc. Doc was, yeah. Doc was asking about that. I have found it. Oh. You gonna send it to him? I'll post it in the group chat and add him. Because apparently it got brought up in another server I'm in. Uh. Ooh. Man, I can't wait for Nina to freak out in the next case. <laughs> People, like, oh god. Have I, have I talked about this? I probably they have. They steal your gas. How on earth is such a thing possible? But, uh, like, I, like, put up, like, uh, the tier list I did of, like, the characters breakdowns and the cases and stuff like that. On my Tumblr, and then some random person just walked by and said, and said, when you get to t when you get to like TGA two three, I want to hear, I want to, I want you to write down your live reactions and tag me because I want because I want to read it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> You're gonna cry. <laughs> oh boy, my favorite. <laughs> A chapter three that makes me cry. That never happens. Case like case three syndrome. Like the case three curse is finally broken. I never would have. I never would have seen the day. Gas companies like ours deliver gas to people's homes via a network of pipes. But these devious reprobates secretly disconnect our pipes and divert our gas into their own rotten pipes. Then they make a con. Then they make a contract with the household supplied by those pipes and take money for the precious gas that's rightfully ours without us even knowing. You're acting like that, all that gas is yours. I mean, it, it is, but. Their own pipe illegally. <laughs> when we visit customers' houses to collect the money from the meters, we always have to check whether or not or not. One of these, oh, Divas companies have been up to its tricks. Eh? What do you look like, Matt? Uh, uh, uh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you have something to say about that, juror number three? Oh, golly. You mean me? I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I was just singing to myself. I really did catch him off guard there. Thinking about what the lady next to you was saying, correct? Well, yeah. I just got a little riled about it recently, you see. Go on. An ultimate gas worker visited my house the other day to investigate the pipe work. We need to ask for your cooperation while we carry out the secret check of your property, sir, the fellow said. So I let him in and you do know what you did what you did? You know what he did, boy. Um, afraid I have no idea. Please tell us. He proceeded to take one of my lights off the wall. Then he grabbed the exposed mouth of the pipe and saw blowing into it. Ew. What do you think you're doing, young man? You're giving away company secrets there. Oh, please. Everybody knows. 
Well, it was very nearly the death of me, I can tell you. What do you mean? Blowing into a pipe that delivers gas sounds very unsanitary. Sounds like a good way to die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll explain if you don't mind. Golly gee, I wonder how many brain cells this man has lost. <laughs> yeah. As I said before, these unscrupulous other gas companies connect their customers to our pipe network. Yes, but how does blowing into the pipes come into it? They fucking die. Obviously, there's gas in the pipes, and that's at a fairly low pressure. By blowing air through the pipe, you can make the pressure drop temporarily. And lose a few brain cells while they're at it. And if you do that, any lights connected to the same pipe will flicker for a moment. Mm, all that for three... coins. Ah, I see. In other words... If, upon blowing into the pipe, the light of the adjacent property has no contract to your company flicker, you can know that these devious scoundrels have been meddling with your pipes. Exactly, my lord. That's it in a nutshell. It's the reason why we have teams of workers going around neighborhoods to investigate with lights flicker. The trouble is, the particular worker who came to my house didn't know the strength of his own breath. He blew down the pipe with all his might. You can guess what happened, can't you? Well, if he blew hard, then... Wait, you mean... That's right, the lights didn't just flicker. They went out, along with the stove. Gas all pouring into the house. Oh. Oh. What a disaster. Uh -oh. The gas supply must have been interrupted briefly before, because the man blew too hard, so the flames went out. I'm afraid I yelled at the fellow. Are you trying to kill us all, I said? So by disconnecting a lamp and blowing into the exposed gas pipe, it's possible to extinguish lamps and stoves connected to the same network of pipes. And when the gas starts flowing again, it just silently seeps into the room. That's how Sham Spear killed fucking Duncan. Hmm. Mr. Naruhodo, I think perhaps. Wait. Was Sham Spear like a gas worker or something? That's how he knew that? Maybe. He does look like a bee, but with different colors. <laughs> He's just blonde. <laughs> Yeah, this is almost certainly the clue that we've been hoping for. Juror number three, the defense requests that you amend your statement to include that information. Oh, well, if you like, I don't mind. Mickey Mouse. Like I said, madam, it's widely known already. I mean, now it is. <laughs> What is the most iconic weapon in gaming to you? Um, Sly Cooper's cane. Yo, bitch. Very well, juror number three, you will admit, amend your statement accordingly. Yes, yeah. Although I'm not I'm really here. sure what the point of all this is. Bitch. Sorry. Um, when are you gonna get Ghost of Shushima? I already have it. Um, do you play the DLC? I don't believe I have. You should play it. No affair.
those two statements clearly contradict each other. Good gracious. To whose statements do you refer, Council? Juror number six. Did you hear what juror number three just said? Okay. What? Yes, yes, of course. I heard him mumbling about something or other. There is another explanation here, I believe. Something beside Mr. Natsume's tea did, in a matter of speaking, pass the victim's lips on the night in question. I wonder, did the police check the mouth of the gas pipe feeding the wall light at the scene to see if there were any traces of poison there? Guys, to see what your floundering would result in this time. But this is the mouth of a gas pipe. Scott and Lard have enough to do without exploring such irrelevance. Hi, Shams. Uh. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> see, you look. You look. You look like you a. You look like a battle pass skin I don't want to unlock. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> A piece of work is a man. What are you trying to say, Mr. Shanstier? What speakest thou? Prithee, it is not. Is it not strange and strange? Is this what I say to thee, sir? I thought it had been quite clear, but let me put it another way. The stretch nine could have been on the mouth of the gas pipe that feeds the wall lamp in your room. And that is how the poison came to enter your body! Oh my god. This man Jeez. is an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Are they tasty then, gas pipes? Is that what he's saying? Who is the gentleman suggesting that the poor man was so desperately hungry he tried to fill his belly with gas? What are you guys talking about? Perhaps no actress would perform a kiss scene with him, hmm? What? For oh, shame, madam. Speaking my fancy. I assure you I'm no such buffoon that I have to kiss pipes. I don't believe. <laughs> this dude is huffing gas. <laughs> you kiss a picture of himself. Yep, there goes the chalice. In the flames it goes. Mickey Mouse. There's no summonation examination. This is a farce. The prosecution will not stand for any more of my learned Dipani's friend's conjecture. To begin with, the lamp in the victim's room is 
pie on the wall. In order to have placed his lips on the pipe and feeds it, he would have had to have been a contortionist. These are empty assertions! Da -da 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 There's no possible proof that the man you did, did as you say! It's true. I have no proof that Mr. Shamsby had put his lips to the pipe. However, I can say with some certainty that on multiple occasions, Mr. Shamsby has been doing something in front of that lamp on his wall. I know I feel like I shouldn't tell you this, but I need to. And I have evidence to prove it! <laughs> this fucking notion of what's about to happen. He's been fucking that wall. I know what you did, Shamspear. <laughs> I think Springtrap looks like this. With the mustache and all. The mutton chops. Alright, alright, you got our attention, lad. Let's see how you can be so sure of yourself. So would I. Let's see this evidence then. Now that I got the jury's ear, I need to make this opportunity count. This is the proof that time and time again, Mr. Shamsby has stood in front of his gas lamp. Uh, Bye. right here, the fucking weirdo. Take that. What the? These are, wait, what are they called? Yes, skin prints. That's what we. That's what we found at the scene. Better not tell him there's a Shones invention. Three, three community skins for Clown. I hate it here. Feed me more. <laughs> Feed me more. And they're Feed all get deep with colorization. More. Hey, when does uh, Alien Romulus come out? This Friday. Friday. Ah, uh, damn! It looks like the uh, popcorn bucket isn't available yet. Aww. I, I really want to get the fucking either the alien head or the uh, clear tube. Yes, I, I I want to get one of those as well. The two the tube I can use to fucking display figures. I will have. Wait, I have not seen what both of them look like yet. I will need to. Uh, there's actually uh four technically. There's one that's just like a normal bucket that has like a face hugger crawling on it. Yeah, that's the one I saw. The there's part, one that is the xenomorph head. Oh my now god! I think about oh. it. I think at the con I went to, I think I saw a xenomorph head popcorn bucket there. I'm like, wait a minute, is that what I think it is? Uh, there's a, another oh version God, of the xenomorph so good. of the xenomorph head that has the mouth open with the uh, second mouth inside. <laughs> and there's a light up one that ha that looks like a containment tube with a face hugger on the outside. All right, I'm gonna. I found. I think I found two of them. I'm gonna post them in the group chat real quick. Skin Prince Council? I've never heard of such a thing. That tube looks so fucking good. I want to put it. Okay, look, I know we're all high, we're all excited for this new alien film, but I think it's time we get another prey, prey two, baby. Oh, I haven't seen that version. That that that's a different bucket, popcorn bucket that I've seen. There's one that's like properly molded, like the alien head. Okay, I think and I, I think this pull. is all of them. Yeah. That yeah, there's, a, there's actually there's actually two versions of the one that's the uh, 
the more accurately shaped xenomorph head. You showed us a popcorn bucket and not a drink. Yeah, you pull you the uh, popcorn goes in like in a container in These the po actually... top of the skull. Huh. HR guy. Imagine they make proud. a fucking like. Pull imagine the they make a fucking drink out of the... like where the actual oh. part where the straw is. This is xenomorph mouth. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say it. Pull the popcorn out of the large black phallus. That's how you get your popcorn out of that popcorn bucket. Because, I mean, isn't Xenomorph designed to just kind of look like that? Yes, yeah. yes. Because I've it, seen it, a whole yeah. analysis videos on, like, how that it's is all... HR, like, that how is it's HR Geeker's specialty. Like, even if you look outside of of uh, Just Alien, HR Geeker drew a lot of sex-based drawings. Uh, Dicks, vaginas, and boobs everywhere. And also just straight-up women. And weird things that look like xenomorphs. HR Geiger would be proud of this popcorn bucket. Giger, Giger, fucking love genitalia. We oh, know. Like if, if you look at some of his art, it, it's very apparent. I know. From yeah, I'm, de alien I'm definitely to getting at least two of everything. these things. I gotta decide which ones. The Justice Ministry is currently assessing. Assessing whether or not to permit fingerprints as evidence in court, however. I'm for sure getting the tube. I just got to sign on the second yeah. one. The, t the tube I my, definitely need because I can use Lord, that to display this figures. This is an exciting forensic technique developed by the great detective, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. Don't... I've been meaning to get a new xenomorph, and that's an excuse. I can also put Stolas in the jar. I, I mean, too. I mean, popcorn bucket. <laughs> I knew you were gonna fucking go there. <laughs> look, look, it's, it's the. Um, you expect me not to make the obvious joke? HR Geiger, my pictures are my children. Base. Oh, well, they could probably produce children at least. True. Your line, isn't it, Nick? No, because Fitz is here. Oh. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, that's black magic, ain't it? Hmm. Well, if anyone could invent something like this, it's a great Sholmes fellow, that's for sure. He eated the glass. On no. a technicality. He eat the soap. No, no, he technically eat the glass because the glass shards from the uh, gunshot went into his stomach. That hasn't happened yet, though. All oh, right, this is a, this is this is still. Yeah, this is pre case five. I agree. This month's edition of Engineering Thumbs was quite fascinating. You're quite fascinating. He will. He will have eaten the glass. <laughs> he will eat the glass. This is a threat. Sholmes Shom will eat the glass. We found skin prints in many places that you would expect. On the table, on the costumes, on his ass. What? Either there a lot of sex is happening over there, or something weird's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a combination of both. However, Mr. Shansby also appears to have been touching some very unexpected places in this room. <laughs> Clambering up the side of the thing like he's the fucking toad. For example, here. I'm breaking Nick. I'm breaking Nick! <laughs> I hear they're shipping us, Natsume. Where? <laughs> Where? <laughs> I don't want to go to war. Bitch, that! I will kill them myself! <laughs> I also kind of want to give Glover a try now that it's coming to Switch and PS5. You know what you should give a try? It's not worth playing. You know what you should give a try? What? You should buy Shovel Knight Remaster and beat the game as Polar Knight. 
I already, I already got Treasure Trove, low. No, but this is a remaster, and this remaster, you can play any other order of no quarters through the whole game. I never beat Shovel Knight because it blue screened my computer once. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That sucks. I still, to this day, do not know how. Wow. Like, my, 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 my last computer was a bit older, but it's fucking Shovel Knight. <laughs> yeah. That thing could handle Fortnite. <laughs> that thing could handle fucking Doom Eternal. It could have handled the uh, Steel of Justice. Shovel Knight was too powerful. Around the hanging picture there, indeed, multiple handprints appear to be visible. Well, I wonder, could he have been appreciating the artwork, perhaps? <laughs> That's a hell of a way to appreciate the artwork. <laughs> Dry hump the side of the building. <laughs> At first, my colleagues and I thought the same. However, thought the same thing. However, <laughs> imagine standing with your hands where those prints are, and you will find yourself directly in front of. In front of. <gasps> I don't believe it. The gas the lamp. lamp. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Though the reason why it isn't immediately obvious, it's clear that Mr. Shamsphere has regularly been standing with his hands to the wall in front of that lamp. Was he trying to be stupid or something? What's wrong with him? Gas. To wake up. Yeah, we can stop at any well, time. What have you been up to? Nah, kiss my ass. <laughs> I asked the court to recall your number four as earlier statement. Me? What did I say? You said that blowing into a gas pipe would make this light in the entire building flicker. And now, if you recalled your number three statement... What? Me now? When the gas worker who visited his home blew with too much force into the pipe, it caused all the lights and the gas stove to go out, and gas start leaking into the rooms. Obviously, that incident was an accident. However, the simple fact is... If Mr. Shamsphere were to have blown hard into the gas pipe here in his room, he could extinguish every other light and gas stove in the building at will. Australian. Ah, uh, the Polynesian Spa. Uh, try out New Zealand. Go somewhere new. Damn, I... Jesus Christ. I thought Crocky! This, I thought this game was better. What? Oh, I'm just looking at a side-by-side side comparison of Star Lego Star Wars, the video game, and Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. The original Lego Star Wars on Xbox looks like shit. That isn't really surprising. I was like, what? Like a little kid at the time when I played that? I thought it was the best thing ever. It's almost as if game, games get better over time, visually. Yeah. No, but Lego I'm my, I would, Lego games are my go-to on, on the Xbox 360 for me. Yeah, but when I realized, like, the complete saga was like a remaster of the original LEGO Star Wars game, I was like, oh, wow. The Xbox version just looks... bad. 
Wow, why do uh, legal sell standees that are, are like 45 fucking dollars? And why do I want to get the Jar Jar Binks one? <laughs> Yeah, I fucking said it. Jar Jar, I will. Jar Jar Binks did nothing wrong. I mean, he, he literally didn't. I mean, he is a Sith Lord, so technically he did, but. I do not subscribe to that theory. Look, the way he landed during that one fight tells the whole story. That man did a very intentional move to avoid the initial volley of fire. Something that does not fit with Jar Jar Binks' characterization. Like, if you watch the, uh, I think it's in episode three, when they're with Jar Jar, and they're, like, going through the palace area. Watch the way Jar Jar Binks goes down compared to how the Jedi go down. The Jedi go right into the fight. Jar Jar Binks drops down, turns, grabs the bridge they're on, and then comes down after the initial volley of fire. That is not a klutz move. That man is in disguise. <laughs> I mean, he could be a Jedi. If you, think, you ever thought about that? Why would a Jedi be the first person to give the Senate emergency power? My dark Jedi. Dumb tech. Episode 1, our prequel trilogy. But that is my answer to that. <laughs> oh, are you suggesting that the man purposely caused the gas to... Through... Plus, he very much did a lot of things to keep Anakin Skywalker alive. Which is a bit sus, considering... <laughs> how he becomes a, a certain, you know, a certain seven-foot-tall asthmatic. <laughs> I mean, asthmatic is putting it lightly. All I can think of is the Google... is, like, the Google Translate yeah, one. Yeah, he's the chosen or one. Or the Google Speak to... Don't you think Jar Jar would know that as a Sith Lord? Well, I mean, if he kept if he kept Anakin alive, that means he just fulfilled the prophecy of the chosen one killing Sidious. So, yeah, Jar Jar Binks is a good guy. I don't know what you're talking about. G gave power to the Senate. Look, it's 3D chess, okay? You need to you have to play the long game before we can have a better galaxy. Jar Jar Binks is evil. Also, I, I want to point out. Calling, jo calling Darth Vader an asthmatic is like saying the plague just has a cold. <laughs> yeah, his his, his lungs are a little fucked up. Just, just a little bit. Well, I, most I feel know. like calling him an asthmatic is a massive understatement. It's just a little lava damage. It's fine. Whilst I acknowledge that the prosecution is required to remain silent during the summation examination. Summation. I've been calling it summation. It is summation. Yeah. I call it summation every time. <laughs> I must toast my local friend's utter disregard for the letter of the law. What's the meaning of this, Lord Van Zeeks? This curious photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. <laughs> or whatever it is presented by the defense. The so-called skin prints. Clearly, that cannot be acceptable as any form of usable evidence in this case. But... But it's an exciting new forensic technique developed by a great detective. It was developed by a bitch. Ah, God, why do I keep doing that? Ooh, blood. <laughs> it's nothing. A mere toy developed by an amateur sleuth with too much time on their hands. It was developed by a bit crush to that. Ah! Uh... By a bit, guys. Certainly, even we 
research of this nature but you see Mr. Scholl glass out of my hand again that I'm a fucking vampire <laughs> Heal! Cannot be recognized by the court as formal evidence. What? Please, my, my lord, if I may. Mrs. Sato? Mrs. is gonna Cannot find us a loophole. Information to submit the skin prints as formal evidence. You may wish to present the results of the great detective's investigation of the scene as the tool by which to explain a possibility to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury. He is not happy. And if the trial were to come to an end now, we should never learn the truth behind these mysterious handprints that everyone has now seen. I don't believe we can allow that to happen, and I'm sure the jurors would agree! You're right. Whether those strange handprints are a significant clue or not, it's down to us to decide. Thank you. Juror number three! Oh yes, I do declare the great detective's investigation results so absolutely fascinating! And I want to hear what that shady actor fellow has to say about those shady handprints. Yay! Jesus Christ. <coughs> now, What's the matter with you two? That's for Hardy. Well... I did say it, didn't I? I don't like to break a promise. <laughs> no, why? Yeah, this is all shit. It's all fair, take a chance. He is very Australian. Oh my god, he <laughs> yeah. really did just say fair, take him. <laughs> now this is pod racing. Suzato, I couldn't have done it without you. Exactly. So, in order to. Oh no, it was you who identified the clue after all. This is very much your success. Oh, look at you sweating, my boy. <laughs> You know, I want to comment. Why? Why does that? Why does that picture of Uni make him look like a sock puppet? <laughs> why, Mr. Shamsphere, you seem to be losing your composure. It's because he's like so raggedy. <laughs> In order to kill Padme, fucking Palpatine sends in Dooku to do it, but Dooku didn't want to do it, so Dooku sends in Jango Fett to do it, but Jango Fett doesn't want to do it, so Jango Fett sends in Zam Weasley, but Zam Weasley doesn't want to do it, so she sends in a fucking robot to do it, and the robot doesn't want to do it, and the robot sends in fucking Bugs to do it! Yes! <laughs> It's almost as like the. It's almost as like the. Two socks. 
It's almost just like the plot of the prequels has some clear holes in it. And people give it far too much fucking credit. <laughs> I just find it funny. If I just like highlight certain areas. Nope, nope, that changes the whole thing. That's like me sending Mass to get to get some food for the ding dong house, but Mass sends in Fitz to get some food, but then Fitz decides no and sends his dog to get the food, but the dog's like no and sends the other dog to get food. That's how I see it anyway, in a ding dong bing bong sense. You know how insane you sound right now? <laughs> One hundred souls. A bagel. They really just made Jango Fett ugly in the complete saga, Lego Star Wars. <laughs> and Mass died. Very well, continue, Council. No, we'll pause here. Let me save here. Sorry, I was... I'm tinkering with the things I'm working on. 